Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. We're gonna take a look at the 2023 Acura Integra A Spec with Tech Package. So this is the highest one you can get. And this one is manual transmission. I know it took me a while to make a video on one. I actually drove this one months ago and actually I was able to see this one before it uh, got here to Acura. My Acura right now, Montano. You can see there. Well, this one's black on black. I know it's a little dirty. This is the, their demo, so this is if you want to test drive one, this is what you'll look at. I know a lot of people complain that this is a, a expensive Civic, but a fun fact on this guy is all the body panels, it's unique to the Integra. This doesn't share any body panel with the Civic at all. It does share the powertrain from the Civic SI, but the overall feel and drive is going to be similar, but still different. We're gonna look at the lights real fast. You got the chicane, daytime running lights with the jewel headlights, high beam, low beam, Integra stamped in the badge. Fog lights too. You can't get fog lights on the SI, but you can get fog lights on the touring or sport touring. And this is on 235, 40, 18s. So 18s for the top trim, A spec badge. Their demo do got some goodies on it. So that's the carbon mirror caps, which is pretty cool. Come around to the rear. Get a nice little spoiler lip. They also got the blacked out um, Acura emblem on there. We got the diffuser too. Don't think that the diffuser is standard on there. It's kind of windy out here, so I apologize for the wind. But yeah, front sensors, parking sensors, back sensors. It is a hatchback too. You look at the tail lights, full LED, unique design. The front do look like a TLX, but the daytime run lights are flipped. The TLX have the daytime run lights below, while this has it up above. Very similar to the Civic, but still unique. It's different. You got this nice little suede interior with the leather exterior. Power seats with lumbar. Everyone complained that the Civic Touring don't have lumbar. Well, it's in the Integra. And it has memory seats. Everyone complained that the Civic got memory seats. It's in the Integra. And it has the ELS Studio 3D sound system, which is pretty cool. With speakers in the roof. Let's jump in here. That's cool. So yeah, you get the full digital cluster, just like the Civic. The materials are a little bit different, even like this uh, vent material where the Civic has like that kind of vent that goes all the way across. The Civic's kind of cut off with this kind of textured material, which is pretty cool. You still get the same nine inch display, but the font is different. The whole theme is different. You do get wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This has Wi-Fi built in that Civic Touring does not have. We have Acura Link in here too. I forgot to add that the Integra doesn't even have built-in navigation. Like there's no navigation in there at all. But I'm already surprised because who uses the built-in navigation anymore, especially in 2023? You're using Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. But um, that's one thing to, to note. There's no built-in navigation on any of the trends. That's cool, got Acura Link in here. This thing has Alexa in here too. Civic does not have that. So there are some differences with the Civic on this guy. And this one is a 6B manual transmission. Oh, we got dynamic mode, that's cool. But that's one thing that's unique to the Civic because if you want a manual transmission the Civic, you either gotta get a Type R or an SI, or you can get a hatchback sport manual transmission six speed or a sport touring manual transmission six speed. I have no idea how I forgot to mention any of this stuff, but yeah, forgot about those two cars. If you want a touring, can't get that in the manual. So if you want all the features plus the manual transmission, can't get that. Now I know a lot of people are complaining that um, they should have made the manual in the base model. Why would they make the manual in the top of the line? All that good stuff. To be honest, manual transmission is dying. Most people don't even know how to drive this or don't want to shift no more. And these CVTs are very fuel efficient. Um, most of these are automatic transmissions, like these dual clutches on these crazy fast shifting automatic transmission have the paddle shifters. You don't really need a clutch anymore. It shifts faster than a human and more fuel efficient. Now, manual transmission, in my opinion, is way more engaging. So if I were to get one of these, it would definitely have to be this, this exact spec, maybe a different color. You can get a red interior too, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you have the wireless phone chargers, it's like the torrent, let's mess with this. So it does have the auto stop feature. Someone commented on my video, I think my type R video saying that since it's a manual transmission, it won't have an auto stop feature. It still has the auto stop feature, even though it's a manual transmission. So that gives you a, a heads up there. And you do have sport, normal, 
and comfort. Oh, look at the gauge just turned colors too. That is cool. Oh, fancy. You can see it on here too, which is pretty cool. And then you even have an individual mode where you can customize how you want it. Press and hold to customize. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can change the gauges. You can change the idle stop. I mean, you can permanently turn this off. You can. You can disable it. That's fire. So everyone is complaining that um, you have to always turn this feature on and off. You can just make it in individual settings, keep it off, and then you don't have to worry about it coming back on. That's actually pretty cool. Suspension, steering, engine. I just noticed this A-spec uh, steering wheel. So, I mean, it's the same steering wheel as a Civic, but they have A-spec stamp at the bottom, which is pretty cool. If you really know your history, the Integra, you've always been based off the Civic, just a little bit nicer. So everyone is complaining that, oh, this is just a Civic. That's what, that's what Acura usually does. Yeah, I like these seats. The seat design is very unique. And then this is like a micro suede. That's what Acura calls it. Really nice. The moonroof, no panorama roof. Standard moonroof. And what's cool with the ELS uh, Studio 3D sound system, and this is what the tech package will give you. You get a 16 speaker sound system and the thing sounds crazy. Like I said, I drove this car already. I love how it drives. It does remind me of the SI, but it's a little bit more refined and a little bit more premium. Um, I don't really know how you can complain about this car. Got the backup camera. It's in a, what view is this? Oh, it's a normal view, I believe. Wide angle and top down. The normal looks kind of top down. It's pretty interesting. So you got that because you got the parking sensor. So that's very similar to the Civic too. And then I'd even show you guys these mats. These big mats, these things are pretty cool. They feel very plush three pedals down there most of you guys don't know what three pedals are anymore no he did rare seats i try to look for that too my civic don't have that either civic used to have you rare heat seats so i wonder why they took that away but interesting got a 12 volt power outlet that no one's going to use anymore but pretty cool simple cup holders i don't see any like ambient oh there's an ambient light in here okay i'm chatting auto dimming rear view mirror but uh there's no home link so i'm not sure you can add it as an option but of that. And of course you have an Acura, uh, Acura watch standard. So low speed braking, adaptive cruise control, front collision braking, all that good stuff is all standard. So all the safety features. I'm surprised this don't come with a heated steering wheel, but I'm sure there's an option you can add. I almost forgot this thing has a heads up display. My touring does not have that. And this is the key for it. See so driver one. Um, I don't see any remote start on the key itself. Uh, um, Acura may have that in their uh, Acura link app. But pretty cool, pretty cool key. So since it is a hatchback, you do lose some headroom, I would say compared to, compared to the Civic hatchback, but it's still very similar. So you see how low the roof line is back here? You still get a hump though, to give you, give you some, some head space. But if you're pretty tall, you know, nothing crazy. I'm sitting behind myself, plenty of inches behind myself. USB A's, so I didn't notice up front. Okay, there's a USB C up front and USB A. Didn't mention that. But yeah, you got some speakers back here. You got some tweeters. And I'm just trying to do a quick video. I know the um, lighting is pretty interesting, but I have a short time to spend with this guy. So I just jumped in and kind of just did a quick little walk around. Nothing crazy. Tailgate is not power. So you do gotta lift it up a little bit. And then you get the little ELS Studio speaker back here. So, one difference between the hatchback and the Integra is that the rear bumper has a like a high lip over because I guess this big piece one piece bumper the like it, like it's just higher like if you want to put something in here it lifts a lot higher but it's deeper though it's it's real deep actually and then with the seats down you probably get a lot of a lot of space and you don't get that little slidey thing like the Civic has we have this one piece thing which is pretty cool so like that you get dual exhaust at the bottom real dual e exhaust very very accurate when Acura first released this car and it was in that yellow prototype one I was like what the heck oh look there's a hatchback right there look at that so you get the hatch oh thank you I appreciate I appreciate that bro I see the red hatchback right there but I got that dude just said you know what you're not getting no hatchback footage today but I didn't like that yellow. I was like, what is that? But then I see this in person. I think it's beautiful. But just looking at the proportion of it, like, I know it has like that kind of bloaty hatchback look to it, but I like it. 
Love the design of it. I do have my Civic Tour in here. And it's funny because it's in black as well. I should do a Integra versus Civic, but like I said, I don't really have that much time, but you guys can see the front of this guy, see the wheels, and then you see that guy over there. Get a nice comparison. Right, we are back in the Cribbo and I kind of want to break down the three trim levels of the Integra because I didn't really explain it in this video. Due to I was making a quick walk around of the car. So you have three different options. The spec that we just took a look at is the Integra A-Spec with tech. But to kind of start off with the base model. So all Integras will have a 1.5 turbocharged force on your engine. If you want to compare it to the Civic, you can only get this motor in the sedan if you get an EX or a Touring and in a hatchback if you get an EXL and a Sport Touring. Since LX is gone for 23, um, for the Sport trim level in the sedan or hatchback Civic, this is the 2 liter engine and that's it, non-turbo, and then you get the 1.5 in upper trims. So direct injected. So this is 200 horsepower. Um, this is the same powertrain, like I said in the video, as the SI. So the SI also makes 200 horsepower with a 6 speed manual transmission, which is the same one in this guy. But if you get a manual transmission sport hatchback, you won't even get this motor. It'll be a 2 liter with manual transmission. And if you get a sport touring, it'll be this, but the power is 180 horsepower instead of 200. So a little bit more horsepower bump in the Integra um, as it should. And like I said, it's the same thing as an SI. Makes sense, you know, same powertrain. So front wheel drive only, no all wheel drive. Automatic CVT, let's see if the six speed, but the six speed is not available in the base. So that's why it's not even labeled here. So y'all saw we did the, the uh, dynamic uh, modes you can switch to, which is cool. Electric power assisted rack, four wheel into like brakes. So pretty much the A spec and the A spec with tech will have all these features: the dual LED headlights, the chicane LED daytime run lights, chicane tail lights. Beautiful. I, I love how those look on the Acura. That's a nice touch. A lot more premium than Civic, definitely. Power moonroof, heated side mirrors, capless fuel fill, an interior silver painted trim. So you do get a power uh, driver seat in the base Integra, and you can only get a power. Um, seating in the Civic if you get a Sport Touring or a Touring. So if they get fully loaded Civic to get power seats, it's standard in the lowest Integra. And it's an eight-way eight power driver seat. So same thing. You only can get a power uh, driver, you know, power passenger seat in the Civic if you get a Touring, Sport Touring. Also want to add the EXL hatchback will give you a power driver seat too. Forgot to mention that. Standard Integra. And then let it red trim front seats. That's um, sporting up. So Civic does have that. Get a 10 inch uh, digital inch. So that's crazy. The driver screen where you get the 10 inch uh, digital display is standard on Integra only in the Touring. So you guys can kind of see here the difference between the two. The Integra pretty much got a lot of things that the Touring has standard, you know, and that's only in. And in, in their base one, which is pretty good. So the even the base model Integra is a good value, to be honest. Um, smart entry with walkway auto lock. That's standard on all the Civics, standard on Integras as well. Uh, push button ignition. So the same thing with Civic or push button start. So all of this is pretty standard. Ambient LED cabin lighting. I need to show you guys that in the video, but that starts on the basic Integra, like crazy. And then look, even this, the Acura Premium Auto System, eight speakers, standing on the base, and you, know, you have Bluetooth, iPod, all that good stuff. Seven-inch touchscreen display. That's the same thing as the Sport and the EX, or the Sport and the EXL. And Siri, eyes free, USB front seats, all that good stuff. And then the safety tech. So blind spot is actually, before I even jump down there, so collision mitigation, um, adaptive cruise control, low speed follow, Traffic jam assist. Um, I believe traffic jam assist is, I don't know if it's standard on the non Touring. I know Touring has it, but I don't know if that's something I gotta look into. Four collision warning. So the blind spot, in order to get a blind spot in a Civic, you have to get an EX or a Touring, or you get an EXL and a Sport Touring. Um, the Sport doesn't have it, and the base interior has it. Auto high beam, headlights. Uh, base body structure, advanced airbags, seatbelt reminder. So all this stuff is standard Civic as well. 
Now we get to the A spec. So the A spec is gonna take everything the regular Integra has, add the A spec badging, LED fog lights, which you can't even get on a sport uh, Civic. You have to get a touring um, glass, uh, gloss black front fascia, so blacked out spoiler. So this is kind of like um, a base model, but looks sporty pretty much. So stainless steel pedals, red gauge needles, performance tires. So yeah, you get more aesthetics in the A spec. If you like the base model, but you want a different look, a little bit sporty look, you get the A spec. And then what we just looked at is the A spec with tech. And this looks exactly like the A spec, just more features and has everything the LX has. First thing Acura <laughs> states on the A spec with tech is the 6 speed manual with a limited slip is standard on the, um, it was available, not standard, it's available on the tech package, not available on anything else. Adaptive uh, dampering system, which I believe the SI don't have this anymore. The previous SI, Tengen SI had this, and I think they took that out for the Integra, the uh, individual mode, which is cool. SI does have its own individual mode you can customize, but you can't customize as much as you can with the Integra though. LED exterior welcome lights, Civic don't have that. Micro suede, the seats you saw me feeling today. Exclusive stitch, Civic don't have that. 12 way power driver's seat with lumbar, Civic don't have that. Position memory, Civic don't have that. 12 way power front seat, you have that in Civic. Display, you have that. The 16 speaker ELS studio, Civic don't have that. You will have the wireless CarPlay, built in Alexa, Civic don't have that guy either. HD radio, Sirius, same thing like the Touring. If you want uh, HD and Sirius, you have to get a Touring. You can't get in a lower trim in the Civic. USB-C, USB in the rears. Wi-Fi hotspot, Civic don't have that. You do have the wireless phone charging. Heads up display, Civic don't have that. Ambient LED door accent, Civic don't have that. Dual zone climate control, Acura link, low speed break-in, parking sensors low speed follow so oh yeah the remote engine start oh uh when i was saying um uh i'm sure some people are gonna watch this video and earlier when i was showing the key i was saying oh i don't see remote starting the key i forgot it was a manual transmission forgot about that but not sure on the cvt if it comes standard on the remote but it was saying remote engine start not available with six speed so i believe this probably is on the on the tech package so all right so i'm on acura's website and like I said, I'm gonna go with the the CVT just so I can compare Civic CVT to Acura CVT. So the base Integra is about the same price as a touring Civic. So for example, let's uh, quickly build this thing up. Um, so oh, so the base Integra only comes with black interior, so that's good to know. So you get the same seven inch play, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was trying to show the interior of this today and I know I was not in the best lighting But at least we got this end part. Let's skip all that all the additional sets we can add on there So you're looking at 32.4 or lunar silver with the black and oh the ebony It's not even it's not even fully black. I guess it's a really really dark 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 brown But yeah, you're looking at 32.4 and I jumped on Honda's website. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do silver um, this is a touring. All right, so with the Civic, you're looking at 31, 145. And then with the Acura, you're looking at 32, 495. So literally about a thousand dollar difference, you know, and if you're someone that don't need everything the touring has, but you like a little bit goodies, then it makes sense to go with the, with the base Integra because you get standard leather seats like the touring. Um, all Integras, I believe, get a moonroof. They show you. Oh, look at that! They show you the configuration, and then, but yeah, yeah, standard leather seats. You know, you get a moonroof with the base Integra. You know, you still get if you do want the nine-inch display though, you're gonna have to bump yourself up. Um, that's crazy how you get the full digital. Not even the CRV Sport Touring get a full digital cluster. So that's pretty. I love the cluster in ours and our Civic, and like I said, only the Touring has it. So it's pretty interesting. But let's actually go back and let's actually go to an A spec. Like I said, the A spec is pretty much a base model, but looks a little more sportier. And let's say I did silver. Um, same thing. That well, it depends. I think it depends on the exterior. I think I, I think I was chatting earlier. So let's see. If I go to white, white usually gives you two different interior. Yeah, look at that. Look, you can get red. I believe that's an A spec thing. That's a lot of red too. 
So let's actually go back to the base interior real fast because I told you guys it's only black interior. Oh yeah, look at that. No, so you can get gray interior as well. If you get black, you get gray. If you get white, you can get gray. And then everything else, uh, ebony. I know I keep calling it black, but Acura says ebony, so. Oh, that's cool, look at this. All right, so yeah, so black with red or ebony. Get liquid carbon with red, white with red, gotcha. So even if you did the A spec, let's do silver. That way we don't have to pay the premium color. Do get a seven inch display, but you get the sport pedals, you get the A spec steering wheel. You get a little bit more goodies in here. You're looking at, let's go get a summary. You're looking at about 34, five. And uh, it's not, you know, it's a few thousand more than a fully loaded Foreign Civic, but the thing is, is you get more power and you just get a lot of standard goodies that the Civic just doesn't have. A little bit more premium. Even the drive is a little bit more premium too. I drove the SI and I drove the uh, Sport Touring, Sport Touring, the A-Spec uh, manual trace, the one we just reviewed. I drove that exact A-Spec a few months ago and it drives, it drives very similar to the SI, but it just feels more premium. You know, like, like if it was up to me, I would get the A-Spec with the manual, like I said before. But pretty interesting. All right, and let's let's do the last one. So you got the pricing on the A spec. Let's say you do no special color. It's six hundred dollars for any of these colors, and then you do no accessories, just the car itself. You're looking at thirty seven, so almost forty for the A spec. But I feel like the A spec with tech just gives you a lot of stuff, you know, compared to the touring, a Civic. You know, it's pretty much almost like what eight grand more, but. Yeah, look at that, like six, seven grand more. I will end everything here. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my little walk around and you know, looking through, looking over the trim level and kind of comparing this to the Civic a little bit. Um, it's, in, in my opinion, the powertrain is the same as an SI, but it is still a different car. You know, it feels different than a Civic. And once you drive one, you will feel it. Um, the tech is there, you know, there's a lot more tech than a Civic, but the Civic still got good tech as well. If there's anything I missed, drop a comment below. I always miss things in these videos. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment below as well. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.